Hey, what's up guys? In this video, I'm gonna show you how to incorporate form submission to your web applications without having to use a backend server. So to do that, we're gonna use a really awesome form submission service called gitform.io. So gitform, uh, this is it right here. Basically, it's a service that handles form submission and data collection without having to set up a server or, or any type of database to, to manage our form submissions. So gitform is gonna handle all of that for us and format it into a table. And that makes it just really nice and neat for us to organize and, and read it. Um, read all of our data collected from the form. So in this particular video, we're gonna simulate basically a job form submission, including a uh, resume. So that means we're gonna be able to, in addition to just uploading like a, a name and contact information, we're also gonna be able to upload a file, kind of like as if we're applying for a job. So GitForm offers a whole lot of more in-depth features and customizations if you need to use a paid plan. However, in this video, I'm just gonna use the free version and really that's all you need to use. Uh, it's really, really great if you wanna put it on like a portfolio website. In fact, I just did a portfolio build in Next.js just a few days ago and I'll put a link to that build in the description below. I built out a full portfolio in Next.js and it has a contact form section. Uh, it doesn't submit anywhere, but it'd be very, very simple. I'm gonna show you right now how you can uh, incorporate that into that project or any other project that you're working on. So let's go ahead and get started. So I'm going to shrink this down. And here I have VS Code. I'm just in um, I created a basic React application. Now you don't have to use React. You can, I mean, you can use anything React, Gatsby, Next.js, Vue, Angular, static HTML. It does not matter. I'm just happen to be doing this in React. Okay. So, and all we have here is a form with some basic styling here. No other files. Okay. Just have a container and then uh, just my form here, some inputs. Uh, input section for a file, then also a button. Okay. Now what you do need to have here on the attribute here for the inputs, you have to have a name. Okay. And that is how uh, Git form is going to organize the, all the data that it collects. Okay. So very, very important. And you can name it whatever you want. First name, last name, does not matter. Just make sure you have a name on everything. Okay. So to get started, go to gitform.io. Okay. And create an account it is 100% free. You don't need a credit card, anything like that. Okay. So go ahead and sign up and it's going to redirect you to the dashboard page. And that is what you see right now. This is the dashboard. Now, what we need to do first is just create an endpoint. So go ahead and hit click create. Now for the free version, you can only have one endpoint, I believe. If, uh, I think you can have multiple if you want to have a paid plan. But in my opinion, uh, you, you really don't need the paid plan if you're using it for something like a, like portfolio or something simple like that. And uh, basically, you'd use it on a portfolio to let employers, potential employers, contact you. And it just looks real professional and just kind of levels up your, your game there. Um, and you know, if you're a business now and you kind of want some more customizations, you probably need the paid plan. But this is really just fine for like a portfolio website. So in this case, I'm gonna call my endpoint applicants. Okay, you just name it whatever you like and I'm gonna select my time zone. Okay, there we go. Now go ahead and click create. And what it's gonna do is generate our, uh, our endpoint right here. Okay, so just copy that right there. I'm just gonna shrink this down just a bit. So just copy that and in our form, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and put this on a separate line. So we need an action, okay? And go ahead and just paste that right in there, just like that, okay? And then on the next thing, we need to set the method to post, just like that. Now that's all we need to do. However, if you wanna uh, upload a file, you need to add one more thing and that's gonna be the ink right there, ink type, okay? And this is gonna be multi-form, sorry, multi-part slash form dash data, just like that, okay? So let's go back over to our form here, just get a quick refresh, okay? Now I'm just gonna enter in my name, Clint, and the email is email at email.com, just like that, perfect. My subject is gonna be resume, and let's say for our message, this is my resume. Okay, so let's go ahead and attach our file. There it is right there, go ahead and attach it. There it is. Now let's submit it. Now, as you can see, no forms in there, no, no nothing submitted. And then, yes, as, yeah, as you can see, it says, thank you, the form was submitted successfully. Now, um, you can actually customize this. You can add it, uh, send it to a different endpoint. If you want to add uh, another page in your application where it's like a, your own thank you page, or you can customize this one, Get form gives you the capabilities to do that as well. But that's all we're gonna use in this build right here. And as you can see, there is our form right there. Name Clint, email at email.com, resume, and there is our message. 
you can click on that. This is our like a uh, mock resume that I, I downloaded there. So that is how easy it is. If you want to click this smart view, that was a smart view right there. You can toggle it to the, to the table view. I kind of prefer this one. I think it's a lot easier to read and here you can, you can download these, you can delete them, download the image. Uh, it's very, very simple. So I hope you liked it. You guys, that is how you can submit a form uh, without having a back-end database or server just using gitform.io so smash the like button if you got a little value out of this if you haven't heard of gitform before like i said 100 free this isn't like a promotional video of, of any sort or anything like that so smash the like button uh, subscribe to the channel if you like uh, coding and react i'm going to be putting out some more builds and react and next.js so i hope you liked it and i will see you on the next one thanks guys